and we're back here on way too late tv playing final fantasy 14 endwalker come join me over at the big board and uh let's do it way too late tv thanks for joining me right here on way too late tv that's right um we are uh right now back in um uh, old Charlayan in uh, the Andron and uh, we're just going to uh, move forward huh um, got a uh, better mic going on um, than we had before um, that old mic uh, that new mic rather uh, was um, just really not great so um, we're going to speak with Kryle in the main hall right over here okay feeling refreshed and alert our colleagues should be wandering in soon so i suggest we stay here and wait for them to join us okay Pray forgive me. I was delayed. That's okay, old English font. It's fine, Marie-Ange. We're all here now. Let's get down to business then, shall we? Let's turn this up just a little bit. Come what may, we must prevent the Telophoroi's plans from coming to fruition. At present, I see two paths for gathering the information which may aid us in achieving that goal. The first involves an investigation into the change which has come over Charlian, not to mention the recent inscrutable behavior of the Forum. As most of you know, the 99 members of the Forum are elected from the general populace. This alone guarantees a plethora of opinion with regards to foreign policy. The Bibliotheques, for example, are a group of conservatives which would have Charlian focus on recording history while remaining entirely uninvolved in the making of it. And at the other extreme, we have advocates for proactive diplomacy and direct intervention. My grandfather Gallif was one such member, as was Archon Louisois. Mm. Yet despite our diverse factions and philosophies, the recent vote to deny Eorzea's request for assistance was unanimous. Really? Okay. Even more concerning was the fact that many cited other more pressing duties as justification for their recalcitrance. More pressing duties than the end of the world. I would like to find out what they are. Fortuno's refusal in Gridania had those same undertones. It was as if, having stared unblinking into the face of impending doom, he had simply turned away to pursue something more important. But what could that possibly be? Mm. A mystery indeed, and one which I ask for your help to solve. Our future may depend on it. Mm -hmm. As for our second potential path, it concerns a request made directly to the students of Baldessian. Mm -hmm. Our organization was founded primarily to study strange and unexplained phenomena the world over. Mysterious relics and ruins, arcane disturbances, and so forth. Right. Compared to our more isolationist Charlie and colleagues, we have strong connections overseas. Namely, with scholars and academics who share our passion for the unknown. They're the X-Files of Charlotte, basically. The request in question comes from one such acquaintance, Nadana, an alchemist residing in distant Flavner. Her missive okay. describes the sudden appearance of a tower and the subsequent summoning of what I can only assume is a Lunar Primal. In 
response to this threat, the Satrap of Rads at Han, the individual who governs the city-state, has instructed the alchemists to find a means to deal with the spire. Hmm. The artisans of that land are heirs to an ancient tradition, one rather unlike that of their Uldan counterparts. What do you mean, Old English? It is possible, nay, probable, that they have gleaned truths unattainable by Eorzea or her Far Eastern allies. They do, in fact, appear to have a strategy in mind, though it will require further research. To that end, they have requested an introduction to a capable warrior shielded by the blessing of light. Assuming we divide our forces to pursue both of Kral's lines of inquiry, then having you join the group heading to Thavnair would seem the obvious choice. But the investigation in Charlian is of vital importance as well. Equal, I think, to the Thavnarian one, given that the fate of the world may hinge on the results of both. Yes, it is quite the quandary. Though it is a great imposition and an altogether too common one, our efforts would be more likely to succeed were you to lead the charge on both fronts. Clearly. I'm just that good. You are indeed our champion. As to which task to tackle first, we will defer to your decision. Let us next decide how everyone else might best be assigned. Okay. As for myself, I shall continue what I've begun in Charlian. I should also like to steal the services of an Archon or two. Okay, easily. And thereby Stola gain access to a greater range of stays in Charlian. Material. Yeah. I will. Allow me to offer my assistance. I have some small amount of experience in the field of research. Yeah. Draha stays in Charlian as well, obviously. The twins are gonna stay in Charlian too. Alize and I would also like to help, if you would have us. Just goes without saying. Anything to understand even a fraction of what our father and the forum might be thinking. Of course, the more the merrier. Right, the rest of us will make the journey to Thavna. Old English. Uh, Thancred and, uh, Stinian and myself will make the journey to Thavnir. Thoughts? Objections? I passed through Thavnir on my way to infiltrate the Empire, and though I'm not qualified to give a guided tour, I did gain a sense of where things lie. Good. I'll be happy to have you along then. So for this group, it will be you, me, and Uriange. Give me a moment afterwards, and I'll supply you with all the details of Nadana's request. Consider this hall our rendezvous point once our respective tasks are complete. May our investigations prove fruitful. Okay, so I get a horse chestnut gear, chest gear coffer. Uh, 515 required job level, I have 520 on everything. So, nothing really of use there. That's all right. I talked to Graha real quick. A tour of the city was a pleasant distraction. I feel more than ready now to tackle the challenges of the day. Stola? The process by which forum members are elected is fair and equitable. Neither wealth nor social standing offers any advantages to a prospective candidate. But fairly elected or not, Master Montoya still found them all to be insufferable. I think we all saw that coming. I still don't understand how the vote could be unanimous. What could possibly convince them to all turn their backs on Eosia? 
If the forum is intent on concealing its intentions, then the cursory investigation will avail us little, I suspect. We will need to dig deeper, and with the greatest of care. Though I have read much on the subject of rods at Han, this visit shall be my first. It will be interesting to see how the Hanish mean to contend with the tower, different as their magical and technological disciplines are. So it's back to Thavna. Had I known earlier, I would have considered more suitable attire. And we go with Thancred. This is Amrilassi. Okay, yeah. Thancred is eager to set forth for Thavnir. Let's do it then. Let's do it. I have Kral's instructions in hand. If you're ready to set out, then so are we. Having been to Thavnir before, I can travel by Aetheride, but what of the rest of you? Another sea voyage would waste time we do not have. Kral was of the same mind and has already secured the aid of the good folk of the Confluence. We'll take ourselves there. The Confluence, thou sayest? I'm afraid so, my friend. Hmm. Thou wilt recall the hunt for Iceheart, unto whose sanctuary we delivered thee owing to the knowledge of our comrade Moonbrida. Ah, uh, Moonburrito. Moonburrito. Rayon J's beloved. Moonbrida was an authority on Aetherology, a field of study she did embark upon in pursuit of a parent's example. Both are authorities in their own right, and both are researchers at the Confluence. Haven't you gone to see them yet? I attempted to do so earlier, but to my shame, my courage failed me at the last. Marion J, really? Really? As it hath the many times I thought to reach out to them after sending that fateful letter. Neither time nor introspection have revealed unto me the words I should speak, and thus I have kept my silence. Really, dude? Whether you come with us or no is your choice and yours alone. If it is too difficult, we'll manage. Thou art kind to say so, but I have no intention of forsaking our cause. I shall go to the confluence, and I shall face that which hath long been overdue. If it's settled, then let us be off. When we arrive, we should look for a researcher named Kite. Do 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 do. Okay, I'll leave Kryle for later. Oops. Okay, speak with Kite at the Confluence. Now, this is rather a lot of stern faces. Are my library books overdue again? Not to our knowledge. We're associates of Kryle and the students Baldesian. We seek passage to Thavnir and understand that you can assist us. Ah, the test subjects. Welcome, welcome. Uh, test subjects? Oh, you hadn't heard. Well, then, allow me to explain. 
So in order to travel to an etherite, you ordinarily need to be attuned to it beforehand. Otherwise, you can't use it as a beacon to seek out while you're a mess of ether hurtling along the live stream. An inconvenient but incontrovertible, incontrovertible limitation of etherite teleportation. But what if I were to tell you there's a way to travel to an etherite without being attuned to it? A way to teleport instantly to places you've never been. For long years, we've labored to make such travel possible that people might move about more freely. And we've finally done it. We've created a new kind of etherite that doesn't require attunement. Truly, that changes everything. Well, my language may have been a bit misleading. The user need not attune to these aetherites, but aetherites themselves must have been pre-attuned to each other, thereby facilitating travel between the two points. But it just so happens that our first test pair of aetherites, one has been installed here in Shartlayan, and the other over in Yedlimad, a port town in Thavnir. As you may know, our nation has long maintained strong ties with Rod Han. And indeed, we owe much of this breakthrough to the contributions of their alchemists. So to sum up, we're to test these aetherites. How fortuitous for you. I should mention that an accident has impaired my ability to channel ether. Will this be a problem? Not at all. As a matter of fact, you might say these aetherites were made for people like your good self. The magics imbued will whisk you away without any effort on your part. A veritable dream come true. And far be it from me to wi worry about such things, but do we have permission to make use of your shiny new invention? Only permission required is yours, so assuming you're willing, we're all set. It may come as a surprise, but we actually struggle to find test subjects. Most people seem to have an unreasonable fear of their souls gradually disintegrating as they drift helplessly in the live stream, in the statistically unlikely event that something goes awry. But it's plain that you aren't most people. <laughs> Mistress Kral truly knows how to pick them. If I might change the subject, our um, Master Wolf's, Wilfson and Mistress Blowida, not present today. Oh, didn't you hear? They've recently resigned their post. Their expertise was needed elsewhere. A large-scale project helmed by the forum itself, as I understand, but I'm not privy to the details. I see. Any other questions? No. Then let's get going before you change your minds. Please see to your preparations and head outside to the Aetherite Plaza. I'll be along shortly. Okay. We're really doing this. It's way off on her voice. <laughs> She's got an ether red earring. Three. I'm already attuned to the crystal in Thavnir. You are? Oh. I would have preferred more test subjects. Oh, well, never mind. If our three travelers could line up here, please. Mm. You might experience 
experience a teensy weensy touch of violent ethereal sickness. Good luck. <laughs> what? What? Zerp, zerp, zerp. We go. Thavnir, home to city-state Rads Athar. Rising from the southeast waters of the bounty, this Isle of Plenty served as the battleground for a conflict between two peoples. Their cultures bled into one another until a unique amalgamation was distilled from the chaos in a process not unlike their precious alchemy. Once solidified as a single nation, an adamant stance of neutrality would hold invaders at bay for a time. Now across this vibrant isle creeps a fog of malice. What choice do you have? <laughs> what chance? <laughs> He's Again, embarrassed to be with us. Fairer faces after a bout of bad shellfish. <laughs> Let me bring you something to drink. That should help settle your bellies. There was a note with Kryle's instructions. Don't let Astinian roam the markets alone. He's alarmingly bad with coin. Oh no. Oh no. It's up to me. It's up to me. You managed to will yourself to your feet, but given your condition, will be able will you be able to reach Justinian in time? Okay. Okay, there's one. Ether sickness. There's another ether sickness. You there. I need three drinks. Something that helps with ether sickness. But by the minutia, a traveler. Ah, uh, I mean greetings. Greetings and welcome. You are wise, good sir, to come to me. My special Amra Lassi, made with only the finest and freshest ingredients, is famed for calming unruly bellies. By way of a warm welcome to Thavnir, I am pleased to offer it to you for the low, low price of 19,800 gil. For not one, not two, but three bottles. 
a bargain amongst bargains. The price is high road robbery, and you want to say as much to Astinian, but you realize any words of warning you cry out would be accompanied by your last meal. You must stand before Astinian and, using gestures, deny that the deal is fair. Hmm? I thought you could barely stand. What do you need to tell me that's so urgent? Wait. I shouldn't buy the lossy. This merchant is swindling me. S sincerest apologies, sir, but I appear to have my prices confused. It's actually 1,890 gil for the three bottles of Lassi. Hmm. That confusion would have been quite costly. For both of us. Very well. Your coin. <laughs> Here, a bottle for each of you. Take them to the others and get some rest. I'll be back after I've explored the town. Praise be to the Twelve. My stomach doth loosen its death grip. My heartfelt thanks to the Innistinian and to the fine fruits of this land. And to Thancred. You were in time. Excellent. You've spared us Tataru's wrath. Let's see. Special Amra Lassi. Made with only the finest and freshest ingredients, this Amra-flavored Lassi is boasted to settle unruly stomachs. Sweet, sweet release. If you haven't already, you should have yours too. Right, I'm ready to get on with it. At last, he truly worked wonders. Back on your feet, I see. But thy hair? I abound it. It is the most I could do against this heat short of shedding my armor. May I ask where you got the cord for it? A local vendor. The man said it's a Thavnarian weave, tough and not easily unraveled. And how much did it cost? 9400 gil. A steal, I'm told. It is nothing fancy, but I've always valued function over form. That's... incredible. I dare say not even Alpha Note could handle hold a candle to you. It's not uncommon for merchants to set their prices high, but doesn't it seem excessive here? Are all Hanish merchants so unscrupulous? I expected the Azir Dragoon to put up more of a fight. Doesn't it seem excessive here? I'm inclined to agree with thine assessment. It doth seem excessive. Unusually so. Claiming Thavnar as its dominion, the nation of Radzidhan hath long thrived as a hub of commerce. In the beginning, there were the Arka Sodara, a Mangtanga tribe indigenous to this island. Over time, they came to be joined by other races, through their intermingling a culture rich and distinct did emerge. From alchemy to textiles, the products of Hanish culture have come to be celebrated and coveted the world over. A development only aided by the nation's prime location as a waypoint betwixt east and west. All of this hath combined to make a trading power of Radzat Han, 
Yet such a status cannot be taken for granted. Nay, it must needs be maintained through judicious governance and stringent regulation. Neither of which I see any evidence, given that merchants at a gateway town are free to fleece hapless travelers and tarnish the reputation of the nation at large. Just so. That opportunistic pricing is rampant does suggest that oversight is much weakened. Or mayhap that the people have fallen upon hard times. Whatever the truth may be, it would be prudent to ascertain the current state of affairs. Prudent and practical, aye. We've not to lose by learning more. So, ere we seek out Kryl's acquaintance, shall we see what information we can gather here in Yil... Yedlemad? Yedlemad. In Yedlemad? Gotta... Gotta nod every time my character nods. Excellent. We didn't exactly get off to a flying start, but we'll make up for it. Alright. I get a couple of lassies as a, uh, reward. Okay. Oh. His stomach behaving once more, Thancred is ready to get to work. On low tide. Right, let us split up and make inquiries in town. Kaylee, the pier is yours. Once we've learned what we can, we regroup by the Aetherite, off-putting though the mere sight of it may be. Freight is laden with fruits, but they're on the verge of spoiling, as so they have been left too long. What am I- what am I doing? Oh, recording my sales. Still do it daily out of habit, though I don't know why I bother. Hardly sell anything these days. Business has never been this terrible, but I suppose things could be even worse. I could have a consortium to keep afloat, like Calzal. I don't envy his position. Better to be alone with my little operation, I've come to realize. You're a traveler, by the looks of you. If you have a moment, perhaps you could pay Kalzal a visit? He'd be glad for tidings from abroad. Like as not, you'll find him at the Saltwind Sails, the harbor guild building across the water from here. Pier. Surveying. Gazing out from the pier, you spy boats moored off nearby isles, with the silhouettes of larger seafaring vessels further away. Compared to other ports you visited in the past, there appears to be very little activity. Ugh, excuse me. It's 5 a.m. here, so... Gonna be a bit late. Was not expecting that. Oh, I can just talk to him from here. Well, now, if it isn't a traveler, you're a rare sight in these unsettled times. People have been giving us a wide berth since that accursed tower suddenly appeared on Naranair. If it just stood there and loomed ominously, perhaps things would be fine after a fashion, but no! Ugh. It had to spawn fell fiends as well. We still have our lives thanks to the Radiant Host, but business is as good as dead. What'll become of us, only the gods know. Uh. And that's all for. Oh, speak with calls all. Here we go.
Dalmaskins aren't coming, but we already have everything they ordered. What are we supposed to do with it? I don't know, but yelling at me isn't going to help. All I know is that their plans have changed, and that's that. Look, if you mu you must have known this might happen. The Empire's at war with itself, and the provinces are in chaos. And then there's a tower sitting on our doorstep, spitting out monstrosities. The city has its defenses, but we've been afforded no protection out here. We can't blame foreigners for not wanting to take the risk. Ah, this will be an enormous loss. All right, all right, forget about the Dalmascans. Surely some ships are still coming. We have fresh produce, handicrafts, medicines are the perennial Hanish favorites. All of them. Our consortium works closely with merchants and artisans to supply only the finest wares. Quality is guaranteed. I know all these things, Kalzal. I do. Which is why I regret to say I have nothing for you. All voyages have been cancelled or indefinitely postponed. You are? Wait, you're a foreigner, are you not? A merchant? Please tell me you're a merchant. No. I see. That's a shame. I'm sorry, but we're discussing important matters. If you need something, please talk to one of the others. Um, excuse me. M my name is Metzia, and I'm here to see Kalzal. Oh, it seems he's busy. I'll come back later then. Hmm. Won't even talk to him. Alright, well. Time to find Matsya. Find out what that was all about. Yes, can I help you? I remember seeing you back in the guild. You wanted to speak with Kalzal too, did you? I'm Matsya, a fisherman of Akal Akiali, a nearby village. I sell my catch to Kalzal, who offers it to foreign merchants, but he hasn't bought anything for a while now. When I heard that the consortium had been struggling, I became worried and decided to come and see him. Just as soon as he's free, anyway. He's a hard-working man, and I dare not disturb him. A horse chestnut handgear coffer. Alright. Fisherman's friend. Let's see. Um, if I may ask, what is it that you do? I'm an adventurer. An adventurer, you say, and you travel the world helping people. Then that must mean you're great at dealing with strangers. Please, won't you teach me to be like you? You see, I brought some fresh fish with me, the portion I couldn't preserve, and I want to sell them. The problem is, I'm terrible with people. I've only ever dealt with Kalzal, and I can't talk to customers without getting my trunk in a twist. So, please, as silly as this might sound, will you not peddle my fish in my stead and show me how it's done? If you're willing, please let me know and we can begin at once. Are you kidding me? The events to follow cannot be skipped. You may wish to cancel any pending duty finder registrations. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh. He's through the floor.
Marana. I'm selling fish. Mm, yes. Greetings, friend. How fair are you of late? Or, fish, fish, I got fish here. Fish, fish, straight from the sea's bosom to your mouth. Greetings to you. Uh, I suppose I'm well enough given the circumstance. Things have settled down somewhat, but it was utter chaos when that tower first appeared. Everyone grabbing what they could, trampling over each other to get to the city. Many remain there for now, but I could not stay away. Had to come back, continue with my life such as it is. Whether or not it was the right choice, only time will tell. It's too risky out here, maybe you ought to move to the city too. Or, there's no place like home, but don't do anything dangerous, eh? Oh, trust me, I don't. I make sure to keep well clear of the tower, and when more monsters emerge from it, I heed the Radiant Host's instructions. I hope they deal with it soon so we can get back to our normal lives. To the days when you could earn as much as you gave, and tuck into a meal satisfied that you did good work. Speaking of meals, why not have some fresh fish today? Or those days will come again before you know it. Till then, stay safe. Fresh fish, you say? Oh, you're a fishmonger! Haha, <laughs> when you bait me like that, how can I not bite? Very well, give me some of your fish. Thank you for your custom. The catch of the day is shallows cod, delectable stewed in coconut milk or baked with a sprinkle of salt. You succeeded in making a sale. All right. Speak with Nazreen. Come here, Nazreen. Where the hell are you? There you are. Nazreen. She's an Aura. A hawker, are you? Do you sell fruit by chance? If so, I want to buy some Amra. Let's say it doesn't. They don't need to be export quality. What do you need so many Amra for? Why, for eating, of course. It may seem like a lot, but of late, I go through that much in no time at all. I'm a stock taker by trade, but no vessels coming these days. The wares are beginning to pile up. By the same token, nothing's coming in from other seas, but... Not a day goes by that someone doesn't come asking when the next shipment's arriving for this and that and this and that. All of it wears me down and I find myself feeling constantly hungry. I know how you feel. Thank you! A pity you don't sell fruit, but I enjoyed our little chat. It took my mind off our little troubles for a moment. The conversation ends without a sale. Never mind, if nothing else, you left it with a positive impression. Let's move on to the north side of town, shall we? Ah, uh, well. I'm going to zoom in a bit. And it's raining all of a sudden. Alright. Basama. Another Alra. What is it? If you don't mind, I'm rather busy. Oh, God's my stomach. Ugh. Ether sickness? No, nothing so unusual. In my hurry to get back to work, I just ate a little too quickly. You should take it easier. Eat more slowly and savor your food. Would that I could, but I can't afford to be idle. Like as not, circumstances will surely get worse before they get better. And so I'm working as hard as I can while I still can to be better, be prepared. 
What an industrious young man you are, or how do you intend to prepare? Well, it's not like I'm trying to impress anyone. No, oh, excuse me, I must be getting back to work. Take care. Damn it. Damn it. Too bad we couldn't make a sale, but we did manage to build something of a relationship. Thank you so much for your demonstration. It was truly eye-opening experience. Come, let us return to the pier. Alright, Matsya. Thank you so much for showing me how to talk to customers. You managed to sell to one of the three people you approached. It was difficult, but when you put your mind to it, you succeeded. Though you did fail too, but there are lessons to be learned in both success and failure. By applying yours, I'll endeavor to become a better peddler. Still, there's only so much I can do alone. I hope that things will return to normal for calls all soon. I thought I heard a familiar voice, and who should it be but Matsya? That was Kalzal. Kalzal, ha have you finished your business at the guild? So you were there too. Forgive me. Try as I might, I can't find any buyers. With no ships coming in and hardly any going out, there simply aren't any options at this rate. So, you can't buy my fish anymore? I'm sorry, Matsya. I truly am. But for now, you must peddle your own goods. But by myself, I can't. I want to help you, I do. But as it stands, I can barely help myself. I poured all my life into this consortium, and I'll be damned if I let it fall apart. I have friends and families depending on me, and I can't- I won't fail them. The sisters is my witness. Kalzol. Not to worry. Using what I've learned from you, I'm sure I'll manage. Somehow. Well, I had best return to my village. My thanks again, and please take care on the road. Alright, where am I going here? Speak with Thancred. I see you've been busy. Managed to learn a tidbit or two, I trust. Well, this and that. I see. We also heard the tower is affecting many locals' livelihoods, but to think it would be to such an extent. For another notable, if not wholly unexpected discovery, disappearances and kidnappings are disturbingly commonplace. As before, the culprits are almost certainly tempered Imperial soldiers. And, as before, they mean to use the faith of their hapless thralls to call forth a, a lunar primal. Business as usual for the Tlaferoi. Judging by his furrowed brow, something important has occurred to Astinian. House of Divinities. That Matsya fellow you were helping, he's... Arkasodra. Arkasodara, is he not? Apparently, tis almost exclusively his people that are being kidnapped. Should he be traveling alone? If the summoning is his perpetrator's aim, it doth stand to reason that Arkasodara would be their primary targets. For tis the faith of their ancestors which prevaileth in this land, and many are devout adherents still. 
We'd better go after him. Akiali lies to the west, as I recall. The same direction as Kral's acquaintance, incidentally. It's settled, then. Keep your eyes peeled while we make for the village. I think this is a good place to uh, stop for right now. And we are in the rusted XP zone. So, um, we got uh, further progress. We sold one fish, one uh, set of fish, one sale of fish. Uh, Missed on a little bit more fish sales. Um, and, uh, learned a little bit more about Rod Zidhan, and we got sick as a dog. So, um, we're going to exit game real quick. Way too late TV. And I want to thank everyone for joining me here on Way Too Late TV. I am Sam, your host. Uh, I, uh, would like to invite you to join me any day of the week, any time of the day at waytoolatetv.com right there. Um... WayTooLateTV.com, where you will find my Twitter, my YouTube, which you're on right now, because all my stuff is YouTube only. Uh, a couple of the Twitch feeds that I moderate, including Next underscore Incendiary and Faust TTV. Um, playlists for pretty much all the, uh, you know, series that I do. And uh, a couple other bits and bobs that, you know, I, I think you'll probably find enjoyable. Anyway, join me at waytoolatetv.com for all that and uh, probably a bit more. Um, if you like this video, please uh, consider subscribing. Um, consider hitting that bell and uh, getting uh, notifications that um, all my videos go live. Um, I try and upload two, maybe three videos a week. Um, and uh, if you like the video, maybe hit like on the video. It, it helps my uh, metrics a bit. So um, anyway, thank you once again. I'm Sam. This has been Way Too Late TV. Good night, my night owl. Sleep well when you get there. Way Too Late TV.